Previously on Stein's Gate. Everyone in America makes such exaggerated gestures. Sooner or later, she'll say, Damn! Oh, oh, oh my god! <laughs> I like how he said, he said it in the way that I say it in my most real. Oh my god! <laughs> and now back to fucking up history. Hello! The Snicko B, back with some more Steins Gate. We last left off, we microwaved ourselves some motherfucking time travel! <laughs> yes, we microwaved time, we microwaved some bananas and some chicken into the past. Just like we've always wanted to do. I wish I could, god, I wish I could microwave my food into the past. Uh. Maybe one day. <laughs> and now we've uh, moved on to the next day, and I, I'm i not really sure, I don't know what exactly, if we're gonna be able to like, harness, if we're really gonna learn how to harness it correctly, or what exactly, but, uh, and I guess, I mean, if I'm gonna, if the only way I'm gonna be able to do it is through my phone like this, and I have mail, speaking of which, holy shit sticks, shining finger. Oh, let's see, the, oh yeah, there it is. So there was the rest of the message. So it was, it was this time it was split into two parts, meaning only only a certain number of characters can go or something. How far after well, they both came at the same time. That's kind of weird. Uh what in the balls? Why do I have so many messages from Shining Finger? Oh. Mikey, are you a student of Kabe kun Are you are you on some are you on summer break? Are you a dead person, a nice person? If you'd rather I email you around a certain town, let me know. I want you to reply as soon as you can, but I don't want to be a bother, so let me know, okay? Okay, it's 2047. Then, like, oh my god. <laughs> By the way, I don't like talking on the phone, so please don't call me. Bye bye, Moke. Okay. <laughs> so remember, I didn't tell you my phone number. That's okay, I'm a lot more comfortable keeping my email, okay? What about you, okay, Moke? Uh. You're still sleeping around, Johnny the dog's around, okay? I'm gonna, oh, I'd like to know about John. What's his face? I'm super curious. Uh. I'm terrible, so you should not get to bed until. The until the sun comes up, it's not so bad when you used to me. Oh, me when you wake up. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus Christ. Calm down. I, I can't reply to any of them either. I'm actually wondering, she said that she was... She's looking for that computer, right? And wasn't John Titter looking for it? Was, is that maybe... She maybe John Titter? Possibly. And also, I'm wondering... She also seemed to react when I mentioned the name, right? Hmm. Possibly. Anyway. The dawn of a new day. Actually, it's already noon. and we didn't sleep at all. Sleep derivation makes the summer seem all the brighter. <laughs> I really don't want to go outside, but I'm fed up with the humidity inside the lab. I chug a bo bottle of Dr. P, the elixir of champions. My stomach protests. Maybe I drank too fast. I'm exhausted. My hands are shaking slightly and my vision is cloudy. I could pass out if I'm not careful. Maybe I should take a shower. That should stay off, so exhaustion will only temporarily. This building has a basic shower room. There's no bath, but it's enough. The wet lab would be hell without it. Daru's as computer is back turned towards me. His right leg is bouncing impatiently. The room is mostly silence save the electric fans humming and Daru's mouse clicks. That was him clicking the mouse? <laughs> Damn, dude! That's a, that's a loud mouse click. Click, 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 Oh my god. Uh, I need more kitty meat porn. Daru doesn't look, doesn't look my way and he doesn't try to start a conversation. Neither do I, I don't have the energy. Outside is a sunny summer afternoon, but inside is the air is still and empty of life. Yesterday, that shocking experiment convinced me that the phone wave made him do something. James was also a time machine. But Carisu didn't seem willing to accept the results. He just started screaming. <laughs> <laughs> a time machine, a time machine, it can't be! And she took a mad dash out of the lab. <laughs> it's like she couldn't get out of here fast enough. As for Miyuri, she was depressed about her chicken and bananas. <laughs> That's all she thought about. Like, oh no. So she skipped her daily costume sewing and went home. Grudges over food run deep, I guess. Oh no. Oh, no. She's, gonna be, she's gonna be mad at me forever now. It's all your fault. Uh oh. It's all your fault, Uncle Reed. Please the lab empty, save for Daru and me. So our enthusiasm, our enthusiasm shot through the roof when we realized that phone weight and such a change had tremendous him potential. We nearly died of excitement after su successfully sending an email to the past. So we stayed up all night doing experiments to confirm whether or not the phone wave new subject change is indeed a time machine. The results, however, we went to the supermarket and stocked up on a wide variety of items. We tossed each of them into the phone wave, new subject change, but everyone failed, no change, nothing happened. After the experiment where the discharge phenomenon occurred, everything everything warmed up normally, no jellification. Oh, did so I guess maybe we fucked it up when we opened up the, uh, we opened up the microwave or something? Maybe it caused something to malfunction. Suddenly we couldn't get anything to happen. 
We still have no idea why. First, let's review the problems revealed by this last run of experiments. Problem one, electrical discharge safety precautions. We moved everything flammable, flammable from the development room to reduce the risk of fire. We also prepared two fire buckets full of water, just in case. But that's not a fundamental solution. We'll keep an eye out from now on, but if things get dangerous. We should seriously consider relocating our experiments. Problem number two, mass increase. When the discharge phenomenon occurs, the phone wave, name sound exchange, suddenly gains the mass for unknown reasons. Because of this, the microwave broke the table and made a dent in the floor. Oh. To deal with that, we placed the microwave on the floor. We spread cushions and blankets underneath this. This hides a hole in the floor, too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, uh, the owner doesn't notice, probably. What the hell? It's only temporary fix, though. If we make any more holes, Mr. Braun is quite capable of raising my rent. And that's to say, nothing in the calamity that will cause him it falls through the floor and onto his head. Anyway, we need to find the source of the mass increase. If amateurs like us even even can, that is. The first two are problems pale before the third. The last problem is crucial. Until we solve it, we really can't even experiment with the phone wave new subject to change. Problem three. We're not even sure if the necessary conditions to, s to send the email to the past. Now, how many times we tried, we couldn't pin down a single condition. We spent the entire night tri doing trial and error. We tried over 40 different things, but not once could we reproduce the discharge phenomenon. I had the idea that opening the microwave door was the key. That theory was proven false. There might be, might be something else I'm missing, but for now, we're at an impasse. We started off in high spirits, but grew more and more frustrated as time progressed. Which brings us to the present. Honestly, I gave up. That's why I spent the entire morning lazing about like this. Another email pops up on my phone. I've been way too many of these since yesterday. <laughs> oh my god. Stop sending me messages! I haven't got a reply. Are you still asleep? Are you still... Are you, you sleep too much, you comic goon. You're living like an old man. Well, I guess I'm not stuck laughing my ass off. Well, let me know when you have something. Oh my god. Stop. Get off my balls, Moeka. They're all from Shiny Finger, the woman called Kiryu, Kiryu Moeka. I never used to email this often before. Even my early sends only me up one or two a day, and she's a teenage girl. Frankly, it's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> it's funny. It's, it seems like that's like the only medium which she feels comfortable talking or feels like she can be herself. That's why she was so hesitant to give up her phone when I was trying to take it from her. So I'm a Shiny Finger type. That should have been enough to tip me off that, that she was a male demon. I was careless. <laughs> a male demon. It's too much of a pain to reply, so I ignore it. I finished out my bottle of Dr. P, my stomach's girls. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. I'm so hungry, I don't even feel like showering. Oh my god, stop. Oh, it's my hurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! That's just her subject line. We use his spending money is getting dangerously low. You and Dara need to chip in sometimes too. You don't want me to get between me and my food! <laughs> uh oh, uh. Spending money. Don't get don't get angry. Next time I'll treat you to anything you want to eat. So keep buying more bananas for the sake of our experiments. <laughs> mm. Don't hurt me, my ear, I'm sorry. I call it Tadaru who's hammering on the keyboard. Hey, you wanna go to Sambo Sambo for a beef bolt? Some beef bowl? Nah, too much trouble. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, but You're such a bum. What is doing on what is, what is doing on the computer anyway? I guess what is he doing on the computer? I'm curious, so I casually peek over his shoulder. What in the actual fuck am I looking at? Whoa. It's like an MC Escher painting almost. Is whoa. That's that's really kind of wild looking actually. It's like a building there's like buildings that keep going inside themselves, right? Buildings inside of a bu oh and, oh my god, there's no I didn't even see there's a person there, there's a, and a thing. Oh, oh my god. Oh, my brain can't handle it. There's an image of a futuristic looking facility I've never seen before. I thought it was like a one of those uh, optical illusions. We should cut the cords, crawl through a gigantic octagonal tunnel, like the interior of a spaceship from a sci fi movie. Based on the height of the people in the picture, the tunnel looks to be more than 10 meters tall. Incidentally, the people don't look Japanese. What are the people? I only see one person right there. Ha. <laughs> Tar's eyes hot. Hardly. I don't know if the blank look in his eyes from sleepiness, exhaustion, or if there's just something wrong with him. The large ha ha Hadron Collider sure is cute. What? What What did you just say? Large Hard-On Collider? <laughs> Hard-On? <laughs> <Co> co Colliander? <laughs> 
Is that an incantation? No, a secret technique. Large, large hadron collider. You don't know. You don't know about it. Grab Dora's relaxed shoulders and wring them out. Ow! 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 ow, ow what are you doing? Are you conscious? <laughs> of course, man. What is this large hadron collider thing? You know, it's what CERN used used to do their experiments. L A H C for short. It's seriously moe. Re recommend it. <laughs> You're lusting for something that's not even humanoid. Of course not, but there's something about it that gets me excited, you know? Makes me smile, you know? Don't you feel that? Don't you feel it? Come to think of it, I remember you said you found factories that do and un the undersides of highways irresistible or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, same thing. Where does it end? 2D, 3, 3D, and even inanimate objects. Life's too short. I don't want to think. I don't want to leave my interest, you know? <laughs> I'm horny for everything. <laughs> You and your star look pretty good there, <laughs> Ocarine. <laughs> Damn it! Stop it! <laughs> but you'll do anything to avoid the things that don't interest you, hypocrite. CERN. That name. I've seen somewhere recently. Where was it again? Yeah, I was like, I was wondering when he was going to bring that up. That was what John Titter brought up, so. Well, of course. John Titter! Oh, yeah, the guy you, men you mentioned earlier. He's the guy at channels going crazy about, isn't he? That one might be an imposter. I was talking about the titter, John Titter who appeared 10 years ago. Now, 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 I guess it seems like, okay, Rintaro hasn't seemed to have figured out that there's a, the message he got, or the message he sent is what has changed the timeline, or well, at least not yet. Hopefully he will soon here. He appeared 10 years ago, the same guy? I'd hope that Dara would remember, but no such luck. Anyway, John Titter mentioned CERN. I don't remember all of it, but there's sure, there's one thing I'm sure of. Titter made a prediction, namely that before the year 2034, CERN will develop a time machine. A time machine? That's a timely topic. But that wasn't just 10 years ago. This new Titter said the same thing. Doesn't matter if it was 10 years ago or 10 seconds ago. That's not the point, Daru. This coincidence could very well be the choice of Sidesgate. Can we trust this Titter guy? It doesn't matter if we trust him or not. We now have something in common. A time machine. We should investigate CERN. We've got nothing to lose. Bigger returns to my balls. Curiosity truly is the greatest delicacy for a mad scientist like me. Anyway, the Phoenix, the phone, the phone wave thing started to change. The experiment has hit a dead end for now, so it shouldn't matter if I made a little detour for this. Tell me everything you know about CERN. Sure thing. My CERN folder is smoking hot. Just like my, just like my rippling abs. <laughs> Don't lift your shirt up again. Darrow strikes his keys with renewed passion. Holy sweet porn. I mean, other images. He goes to my pictures folder and opens a folder literally called CERN. Oh, wow. All right. CERN is the lo world's largest particle physics research in institution. It's popular popularly called the Euro European Laboratory for Particle Physics, or the European Organization for Nuclear Research. It's close to the, the border of Switzerland and France on the outskirts of G Geneva. It's famous as the birthplace of HTML, HTTP, and the World Wide Web. Oh, all right. The World Wide Web? You mean the, the internet? Bingo. That that thing at the beginning of most URLs. CERN invented that? CERN's a fictional thing, right? Kinda got I wanna check to make sure. Yeah, www.com.com. Uh there it is. Oh it is. Okay, it's fictional. I was like, I'm like, it is, right? Oh, it could be based off something else. A French acronym for so 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 oh god. So Societe European Pienne pour la recherche nucléaire. Oh my God! Or European Society for Nuclear Research, the world's largest elementary particle physics laboratory, located on the Franco-Swiss border near Geneva, has a bank, a library, a post office, and a dorm on premises. Scientists from around the world gather at CERN to research particle physics. Okay, all I know about CERN is what I read is what I read Titter's book. Uh, I never knew they were that amazing. Most people aren't aware, but there's a Japanese research team working at CERN, too. What sort of research does CERN, CERN do? Particle physics, mostly. CERN can do experiments no one else can, no one else can, because they have the biggest particle accelerators in the world. The low-energy anti-proton ring, the proton synco, synchrotron booster, the large electron-positron collider, and the big boss is the largest accelerator in the world, the LHC, Large Hadron Collider Town. <laughs> tan. Tan. 
Taco, Taco possesses the ability to um, anthropomorphize in Moe form just about anything in the world simply by attacking, sticking tan on the end of it. Daro's powers encompass even <laughs> particle accelerators. It's like, it's like the uh, frost more tan. <laughs> frost more <and> hungers. <laughs> Finally, this is more like it. <laughs> What is it now? <laughs> uh, did any of you guys play the original Warcraft? You know, before it was World of Warcraft? <laughs> just like hearing Arthas, just hearing all the characters say the same thing a million fucking times. Frostmourne and Hunger say that like 30,000 times. Darwin oh, doesn't seem to notice my shock, he just brings up the next image. The LHC is a 27 inch long circular tunnel but built underneath CERN's headquarters. Its purpose is to smash protons together in the hopes of creating unknown elementary particle reactions. They started experimenting last year. Before they started, there were rumors that the experiment might create many black holes. Oh no, those many black holes will swallow the Earth! The universe is in danger! Etc. <laughs> many black holes. Richard Turner said his time is to use many black holes. Yeah, that's... Uh, how would you manage to make a black hole without it, like, destroying everything? Because, <laughs> well... I don't know, at least in science fiction, you always see black holes like suck shit up and and then they get bigger for some reason and, and suck up the whole fucking universe. Are the things he said about CERN true? What's the possibility of that actually happening? 100% that it won't. CERN officially denies it. Let's say a mini black hole was formed. The amount of energy would be so tiny that it would disappear instantaneously upon, instantly upon formation. It would be impossible for it to swallow the world. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Where there's smoke, there's fire. If I remember correctly, Teeter claimed that CERN began time machine research in 2001. In 2034, they complete the time machine. Right now, it's 2010. If they actually started that research, it would have been nine years ago. According to their official announcements, they, announcements, they only began experimenting in 2008. That's suspicious. Of course, that's assuming Teeter's story is true. Some of Teeter's predictions were on the mark, but most weren't. I'm also perplexed by how everyone around me seems to have forgotten about Titter's 2000 appearance. There's something important in Titter's tale. Come on, man. <laughs> we're sticking to I can't believe he's taking him this long to figure it fucking out. I mean, now he's figured out the things of time machine. You'd think he would have figured out, oh, well, that explains why my fucking text message fucked shit up, you know? It, I, it, I, I guarantee you, when he got, Daru got that message, he did something. He, I, maybe he must have mentioned it to somebody else. But he, it, it has to be, right? It, it affected something. And it prevented uh, M M Mikisa Garisa from dying. Or at least I want there to be. Take out my phone and put it to my ear. It's me. Ha ha. Don't be surprised. I sniffed out an evil conspiracy. John Titter, sir. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah, that's right. They're likely connected to the organization. Ha, coincidence? Come on, don't disappoint me. What? Evidence? Well, you, you must know. Whispers. Whispers of a mad scientist intuition. I started to sound like Batman there for a second. <laughs> Those bastards are trying to destroy the world. Yeah, with many black holes. But what if we were to steal that technology? What then? Ha <laughs> ha Of course. Who do you think I am? Everything is in the destroys of Steins Gate. El Sai Kung Gru. <laughs> Just a look on his face. Put away my phone, then turn towards Daru. Give me an exasperated look. Just who the hell are you fighting with? Myself. Darn, I must know, I know what we must do. What's that? Don't you, was that me? <laughs> was that mad at me? What's that about you? You're supposed to grin like you knew exactly what I'm talking about. What kind of super hacker are you? <laughs> are you thinking what I'm thinking? You bet your ass I am. Yeah, to the Batmobile. <laughs> I wanted to say something like, well, why the hell not? So what's, what's in it for me? <laughs> <laughs> I love how he like thinks, it's like, no, you said the wrong thing. So this would be like a cool action movie. Then we continue like this, critting slyly the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I find it funny that like he sort of expects people to do certain things, but then if they, but if they were to, ex but if uh like the uh like Ferris, if they go off track and they they start making up their own things, that's not what he sort of envisions. Then he gets really pissed. <laughs> like I find that really funny. <laughs> I mean, a week's worth of potato chips. Ten days. Sure are, Glutton. The dive makes you a hungry man. Deal, get started. You got it, boss. <laughs> or something like that. Yep, a real cool conversation. Ah, oh, God, I love movies. The real world Darwin just purses his lips. 
You always give such a half-baked explanation. Try to sound intelligible for you to try to sound intelligent. Work with me here. You are the super hacker. Stop, stop saying hacker. At least say, at least say hacker. See where I'm going with this? Who the balls is texting me? Hello, my Yuri. <laughs> Thank you very much. Just hearing that from Okuri makes me happy. Yay! Yay! I made up with Mayuri. We're gonna make out later. It's gonna be awesome. No, not at all. Hack and discern. Daru stares at me in disbelief. Is that some kind of joke? I know you can do it, Daru. Expose her dastardly deeds and find any hints you can about the time machine. Dastardly deeds? You're just imagining that stuff, Ocarine. We stand at a crossroads. Will the phone wave name such a change become a functional time machine or will it die as garbage in lab storage? You serious? I'm always serious. Look Daru straight in the eyes, I answer. Looks like that made him understand my position. Our right, sweets so the garbage off his desk and sits straight up. I'm not responsible for the consequences, got it? <laughs> Dude, I don't know. Yeah, you're gonna go hack at a big fucking corporation. Ooh, that's like, you better be fucking careful, man. Because then the guys with the black suits will come flying in your hair place. Or actually, probably more like the SWAT. The fucking SWAT team will come bursting in your doors. <laughs> move, move! <laughs> oh my god! Now, quickly, my four doc devs and instructions lay all these cops! No, stop! Stop licking your feet! Go kill them! <laughs> Daru, he shield me! <laughs> Daru? Oh damn, he he flushed himself down the toilet. Ah, fuck me! <laughs> we must have a big toilet. Suddenly, Daru was bursting with energy. It's like his er earlier lethargy was a lie. Deal, get started. Let's do this! For your payment, I'll deposit a week's supply of tomato chips in your Swiss bank account. <laughs> Dar doesn't respond. He's already in deep concentration. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Work with me, man! Anyway, I'm gonna sleep. It's all yours. He must be a pretty damn good hacker, then. Okay. I lie on the sofa and let the clacking of Dar's keyboard lull me to sleep. Mm. I wake up to the sound of a SWAT team. Fuck! <laughs> wake up to the twilight sun streaming in through the window. A refreshing breeze blows in, softly brushing my cheek. Dar was exactly where I left it before I slept. Oh, I have mail. He's sitting in exactly the same position. Hello? Oh, wait, it's Ferris. Uh, uh, Original sin level rising to 180%. Kyoma, when I bring in the mundane world, you're supposed to be discreet, yeah? I don't want to renounce you. Remember, the summoning has take 2,000 years to repair. If it fails, everything will be ruined. Although, I suppose that might make things interesting. Yeah! <laughs> what in the boss? Are you suggesting that I, Yogi and Koma, run and hide and run and hide? You risk my ire, cat girl. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I really like. I don't know. It's a, a lot of times it takes me a little while to warm up to characters and stuff, but I'm really just just like a few episodes into this, I'm really like loving the characters of this game. I can I'm seeing why people are saying this is like a really well. I mean, it's, it is. It's a really well written story so far. They're doing such a great job with these characters, even all very unique, fun personalities, you know? Without it being annoying. And that's, I feel like that's hard to do. <laughs> I don't know, it's it, it's making everyone very likable and funny. Okay, so Eric's are left sitting in the exact same position. Not much has changed besides his typing speed. Oh, and now he's muttering to himself. Because he hasn't had any success at hacking yet. Look around the room, but I can't find Mayuri. She's not coming today. I guess through related grudges run, really do run deep. Oh no, but I thought I made up with her. No! I stab with a stretch. I don't want to bother Daru, so I don't say anything to him. I dig a dull Dr. P out of the fridge and quench my balls. And then I throw myself down onto the sofa and start browsing out channel on my phone. What perfect timing! Tinder is currently posting in the thread. Oh, here we go again. The Everett Wielder model is correct. Please look it up to learn more. It seems you're all still clinging to preconceived notions of time. Time does not simply run from past to future like a car on a one-way street. To be more specific, the laws of causality do not allow contradictions to occur. If the result of an event, the effect has changed. The event itself, the cause, also changes to prevent a paradox. That's why there are so few people who can observe changes in divergence. Divergence being the world line's percent difference from the standard. <laughs> Die, troll! You couldn't be a time travel without any proof! You're so full of shit! See, this is like... This is what... Honestly, this is a pretty accurate representation of what this would be like, I think. <laughs> like, that's pretty much what everyone would say, you know? Maybe and then two people would be like, But you should build a beer to beer to beer. Like, seriously? I feel like a time traveler, if you really want to, like, let the world know about it, I, I don't know. Are there better ways to do it aside from going on a 4chan and posting shit here? 
Stock trends, please. <laughs> this guy's still at. Please give me your stocks. Please tell me who's going to win the Super Bowl in 2018. Count on you, Mr. Time Traveler. Characters and changes the first how you possibly measure. Oh, I know you're trying to use some magical device and measure it for you. La 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 la. Oh, and some explain our research and institution conquers the world. Details, please. Oh, no, she made his doom. What has science done, JPEG? Oh, my God. A lot of noobs surrounding seriously the troll thread. This Tinder guy is just a shitty troll. Mmm, uh, ew. <laughs> and then I hear I am. Don't you people have anything to offer besides insults? How about contributing to the discussion, blubby and scum? We assume that the time doesn't flow in a straight line, then the idea of travel is much easier to swallow. Such a scenario, a, a time machine traveling to the past doesn't need to fight against the flow of time. I see Tinder's points have merit. By the way, Tinder, I'd like to know more about Sir. What else can you tell me about this current activities? <laughs> Tell me which horse wins the next Emperor's Cup. I put my land to our life savings, please. Please. I'll become the richest man in the fucking planet. Everett model equals many world interpretations. Basically, that means parallel worlds. So stupid name tags. You and Kiyoma is more annoying than Titter. <laughs> Shut up. Fuck you, Anonymous. 300 million. Ghost of John Titter be fluent in Japanese. Writing in English would at least make it seem more realistic. You can't do English, can you? I am writing any of this, dum dum. <laughs> I know, but <laughs> it gets kind of confusing when the game when games do that. <laughs> I'm writing in I'm writing in Japanese, which is translated to English, which is translated to Japanese, which translated blah blah blah. Can I ever ask you a favor, Tudor son? My mom died last year in Shibuya earthquake. If I stop my mom from leaving home, can I undo her death? So please, let me your time machine. Oh, that's sad. You please time travel. Love that proof. Are you fucking stupid? Man, could Curry go on and Kamei is a fucking douche. Fuck you, Curry. Go on, Kamehameha. I don't care if you are from Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> no one seems really interested in what I in what I said about time not flowing in a single direction. That's proof that your preconceptions are deeply ingrained. Honestly, it bothers me that you simply accept that as the truth. I'm starting to understand why Sir was able to take over so easily. I will have to slay them all. Whenever a major event causes divergence to change, the timelines are reconstructed to prevent paradoxes from occurring. For example, let's say that a major event causes this world line to diverge into a new world line called World Line B. A world line B, I'm afraid to say, Atchinal never existed. As the timeline is reconstructed, all of your memories of reading and posting on Atchinal will disappear to be replaced by memories of you doing something else. In other words, by changing the present, you change the past. I wrote about CERN yesterday. The only thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded in creating a mi micro black holes. Heh. <laughs> Curry, go on, Kamehameha. I only request my intellectual thirst. Unlike you, close mind fools, I will reserve judgment until after I've heard what Tinder has to say. And then I will come, and I will make contact with Tinder and acquire his time machine for myself. The great mad scientist, Hyoin Kyoma, will have the last laugh. Suck it, sleazebags! <laughs> Suck my balls, bitch! Tell me stock prices are fucking done. I won't believe you, no, 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 me. <laughs> so I'm sorry, so if he just gives you a random number of the stock prices are, then you'll believe him. Okay, you should, you should do that, you should fucking do that, just give him some random fucking numbers, just fuck that guy's life up forever. And he's like, oh my god, what was I thinking, you listen to some random person on the internet, I'm so stupid! So I reconstruct the world, you idiots, altering people's memories, who the hell can alter memories of nearly 6 billion, 7 billion people? You know how stupid that sounds, I think I would have noticed someone went and screwed my brain, like, yeah. I mean, come on, I'm fucking Gohan. I shoot Kamehameha out of my dick. What does that have to do with any of the world's interpretation? Do some research. Oh, ha, micro black holes. Ha, ha. Oh my god, I'm ready to kill that guy already. I'm already ready to fucking slay him. Wait, the future's a wasteland? Like the Fallout games? That's so awesome, dude. I'm gonna get myself a dog and a shotgun, and then I'm gonna blow up a town with a nuke. Some dude with sunglasses told me to. Yeah, that's awesome. I love games. Ugh, this is gonna be amazing. It's like a, be a road warrior and ride a mod buggy, right? I'm gonna get a mohawk. Anyone wear No I can buy some spiked shoulder pads. Check Sir's homepage. Since been experiment since 2009, can they really make black holes? Oh my god, we're gonna die. What the hell's gonna happen? Just Tinder 2 at Heather Mohawk? God, it's fucking Moe, dude. Hmm. <laughs> Are you. Are you applying our brains to make the world? Are you saying the universe is a giant tree with the branches or something? That's some evil le level bullshit right there! Go back to 2036 where you belong! Is this how you rely apply to a specific person? Thank you for showing me. <laughs> Reconstruction of the timeline and alteration of people's memories. I think they're essentially the same thing. Why are you so intent on saying they're different? With a few exceptions, nobody can keep their memories across world lines. They are reconstructed along with everything else when divergence changes. What's a road war? <laughs> 
Uh, Anyone home? It's good. I'm most in a heated and terrible argument with an inf Oh, when an unfamiliar voice interrupts me. Okay. Oh, it's you. Door opens and a girl peeks inside. I recognize her. It's a girl I met yesterday at the Round 2 workshop. Hey, how's it going? Hi, I'm from Mom, Round 2 workshop. Nice to meet you, smiles. TV center repair has been fixed. Fixed, mind picking it up? Oh, sweet. Darrow's stopping gets even faster. <laughs> Looks like he's in the zone. It'd be bad idea bad idea to serve him with our voices. Watch the girl and hurry outside. Dude, really? You could've just brought it with you? I mean, it's right downstairs. Why do we have to be sneaky? Um, what's this girl's name girl's name again? I think it was uh, Aruma or Amor. Uh, uh, uh Amane. Alright, Amane Suzuha. Currently my genius partner in crime is executing an important mission. I don't want to bother him. Ooh, what exactly do you guys do? Told you before that learning our secrets could put you and everyone you know in grave danger. They called the Future Gadget Laboratory, right? How did you know that? I never told you. Wait, are you an organization spy? I right, hear somebody at some point go, Yes, I am an organization spy. I just want to see what like, what would he do? Would he be like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> you are? <laughs> you mean it's real? <laughs> I can't tell if, like, if that was what he would do or if he would really like, or if he would be like, oh no, they found me or something, you know? Like, how much, how much does he believe the bullshit that comes out of his mouth? I raise my guard and spring into praying mantis stance. <laughs> <laughs> I call this break crouching tiger hidden hidden mantis. Mm. Sue just stares blankly. That's what's said in your mailbox. Oh. <laughs> Hello, my guard. Why don't you just say so? Now that you know, it's not like you can unknow. I'll give you the short explanation, but you must not tell a soul. I don't tell many people this, except everybody I meet. <laughs> Zua nods firmly. Just me or her eyes gleaming. <laughs> like, every little girls have little, little, little kitty mouths. Like, <laughs> they little, like the, their lips are shaped like a three. We are the future gadget laboratory dedicated to defeating the evil organization that rules the world from the shadows. Mwah! Wow. That's deep, dude. Is the evil organization CERN? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, so I was right. This guy's really off tempt a lot, aren't they? She asked herself for some reason. Huh. Did I... Has it always been CERN, or did I just decide that now because of the whole John Titter thing? <laughs> I'm a little confused about that. Contemptible. I thought it was only when he used words like that in a normal conversation. How'd you know we were hacking into CERN? What? You're hacking them? Right now? <laughs> oh, damn. Damn my... Me and my big fucking balls. I mean, mouth. Just answer my question. How do you know about business with CERN? Oh, um, well... <laughs> well, <laughs> actually, I overheard you this afternoon. Said here you can hear stuff from the window. The window? Come to think of it, if it was open, Dara and I were talking loud late. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Daru, now go and hack into the CERN system. Remember, be very sneaky about it. We can't let anybody know. <laughs> but can you really hear us from here? I look up to the second floor. The window's still fully open, but I can't... I can't hear a thing. I guess Dara's working quietly. Look down. There's an unfamiliar bicycle parked in front of the Braun Tube Workshop. Yeah, she's probably... I actually wonder if she's probably an athlete. She, with that suit on, she looks like she, she could be... A, yeah, she could be a biker. One of those mountain bikes. His frame is all spiky. All sparkly. Its tires mostly clean. It's probably new. Looks pretty fast, but whose is it? I've only been working for a day, but... Sue opens the Braun Tube Workshop door with a wry smile. I got a lot more free time than I expected. I gone out four or five times today. They yeah, are re 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 con re re con re reconnoiter. Reconnoiter? Re re oh, reconnoiter. Oh, is it? Is, this is a full re recon the front, right? But that's like the full. I, I don't know if I've actually ever seen that word before. Reconnoiter. Reconnoiter. I thought, was, I thought recon was another word, but okay. Reconnoiter the front of the store and see if I can find any spot spot any customers. Reconnoiter? There's a word you don't hear in casual conversation. Okay, good. I was like, it's not just me, right? I'm like, I don't think I've ever heard of that word before. Yeah. Oh, reconnaissance. Yeah, that's it. I was like, uh, usually it's, yeah, I, I don't ever, I don't think I've ever heard of the word connoiter, but I've heard perform reconnaissance. It means perform reconnaissance to scout an area and gather intelligence. She's some kind of secret agent? Follow Suzuya, Suzuya into the store. That's when I heard you guys talking from the second floor. I got this looked up online. Now I'm a, now I know all the rumors about CERN. 
Damn, we were careless. Looks so like we need to close that window when we discuss sensitive matters from now on. If we do that, the lab will turn to a scorching hell. So fuck that. Damn if I do, damn if I don't. Uh, anyway, you mustn't tell anyone else. Well, it's men in black will raid us. In my head. Oh yeah, I understand. I'm actually light topless, so don't worry. <laughs> Tua grins and thumps her chest confidently. All is quiet inside the brown tube workshop. That gigantic TV isn't on. Mr. Brown's not here either. Where's the manager? He left right after we finished repairing your TV. He probably went to see the chipmunk. <laughs> Why is he calling her the chipmunk? It's kind of mean. Poor little, poor little, his little daughter. Actually, his daughter was like 12 or something. Or older, I don't, I don't remember. Just appears during business hours every now and then. Whenever I ask him where he's going, he always says something like, I'm, I'm picking up my beloved daughter from school, or my beloved daughter is a cold, or the huge scrub nice face. He doses her on her too much. Probably just annoys her. Anyway, so your spouse could you be to neglect your work to see your daughter. <laughs> oh, come on. I mean, nobody's fucking here, dude. <laughs> he used to put a, put a back soon side on the door whenever he left, but now he has to sue it. Suzuha take care of things while he's gone. So oh, here's fixed TV. So I ta lightly taps the TV on the counter. He said to charge a thousand yen. Damn manager, I bet he gave it to us just so he could charge fee repairs. It's only 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah, and I actually, I looked it up and, uh, uh, yeah, the yen is, god, the yen is worth less than a penny. The yen is less than a penny. Like, oh my god. It actually, it, it, I saw a little graph and it, it showed it, it used to be over a penny, but it's gone down considerably and the value of the yen uh, has gone down considerably in the past uh, uh, few years, so. So yeah, so pretty much that'd be about eighty dollars, <laughs> or, or well, no, uh, I mean for a thousand it'd be about eight dollars. It's like, wow. <laughs> it's like, geez. I wonder if that would really translate well though. Like if I if I if I go to Japan and I wonder would I be able to buy a lot of stuff? Because will things actually be relatively cheap with U.S. currency, or will it all be like, I don't know. I'm sure you guys Japanese. If there are any Japanese viewers would be able to tell me, but I'm just imagining like I don't know. I, I would just imagine going to another country and being like, well, you know, it's like a nice TV is still like a hundred thousand yen or something, you know, still really expensive. Check my phone. Uh, Lukaku, <laughs> I I baked cookies today. I I had everyone in my family eat some and got their seal of approval. Would it be okay if I baked some for your lab friend ma friends master? Oh, and it would be great if you could teach me some more of your techniques with some Adair in whenever you have time. He's like. I practiced 10 swings today. <laughs> oh, this guy, I, this guy's really sweet. <laughs> he has a, he has nice friends. I bake cookies. I had everyone in my family, Sh sure. Apply to that one. You mustn't depend on me. Remember, all things come to an end. Even every meeting heralds a parting. I can't hide from the organization forever, and the seal on my, on my arm grows weaker by day. When I'm gone, you'll have to take care of yourself. Oh, uh, no. You're gonna make Lukaku cry, dude. And then I'm gonna start questioning my sexuality again. I reluctantly take a bill out of my wallet and head to Suzuha. Takes out a receipt, apparently it was, was already written out. Thanks for your patronage! Well, just take it away. By myself? Are you joking? Well, yeah, I guess it is a... It's a, one of those old TVs, so they're heavy. Oh, did you bring it here by itself? Did you know it takes ten times more effort to just go up the stairs and down? Buying gravity is no easy task, woman. I guess I can help, but... Oh, I see, so we're already in the age where women do physical labor. <laughs> she mutters her tone pensive. <laughs> Shh, how sarcastic of her. Oh, you're, you're supposed to be, you're pretty, you're well too really fit, I think you, right? <laughs> you're stronger than I am. Hmm, I don't remember any, anyone asking for your help. I was like getting help from a girl like you would just hurt my pride. Wow. <laughs> uh -huh. Applause. <laughs> I was so mad, I might be falling for you. <laughs> Let's go behind the let's go behind behind the dumpsters back there and make out. <laughs> Wait, what? Huh. You think you can trick me like that? You're lying, aren't you? <laughs> eh, what made you think that? Does your head does your hand ever move away from the back of your head? Nope, it's glue there. <laughs> it's one of my powers, coloring gentlemen. This power allows me to see through lies. Liars appear to glow in red, then they die. <laughs> you have powers? Oh, that's cool. So his eyes pop, but then she clears her throat as if to hide her surprise. Are you some kind of esper? <laughs> I am an esper. I am an esper. Right now, she whispers in my ear. There are a lot of espers like you. Of course not. I am special. 
and I thrust my chest out as far as possible to display my majesty. Oh yeah, I'm scared there for a second, but still, it's amazing that people like you exist. Maybe there's a reason they're out more, more where I came from. She's running some nonsense to herself, she finally has an understanding. By the way, does he really see through lies have any combat application at all? For me, I want per perfect accuracy with thousand, within a thousand meters. For ultra fast reflexes, let me tear my enemies' limbs off before they can react. What the hell is she talking about? Is she a survival game otaku? <laughs> no, wait, don't tell me. Yo, you're an organization spy, assassin, aren't you? You must be the one that they call Miss Golgo. Who hired you? Nobody hired me. What's Golgo? He's <laughs> trying to gloss things over with an insincere smile. <laughs> Her confusion is suspicious. That's real. There's still a lot of girls in this game, <laughs> and one guy who's who looks like a girl. Oh. Reminds me, I think I remember her saying something awfully disturbing. Things when we first met yesterday. Anyway, do you have any other powers? Like making out powers? Even if I did, there's no way I'd tell a hitman hired to kill me. I'm not going to kill you. Yeah, my powers would be suicide. They are most effective with the element surprise. In other words, they're for me to know and you to find out. Oh, meanie. <laughs> Say what you like. <laughs> Burning tension runs but runs between us. At least I think there is. Our eyes meet. Invisible sparks scatter. And then an email rises to make the stalemate to turn my attention away from Susua. What? Oh my god, what? Shining finger. Oh, god, be good. I want you to reply to me already. I'm waiting for you already. Please tell me super hackers to trust when you know if you don't crack it. Someone else might get to the IBM 51 first. Hey, she I would love to reply to you, but the game won't let me! It's not highlighting anything! Apparently, Akame is just saying, Fuck it. I don't care if she texts me 8,000 times. Swing Toe is starting to piss me off. <laughs> yeah, actually, you know what? It's kind of pissing me off, too. I want to <laughs> He's kind of the... He was thinking the same thing I was. Let's send it to something else. Uh... Ah, it's kind of nice. Oh yeah, that sounds nice. I like that. Oh yeah, I can change my wallpaper too. Look at that. Oh look at Ginger the Oopa! <laughs> oh yeah, that's not I want I want a big bloody thing on my background. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna have this old weird looking picture as my background. So I guess the the pictures I get from the messages can be on my background. That's funny. Alright, that's better. Look like from that male demon shining finger. Until he without even checking. This game ridiculous. It's got some stalker qualities, maybe some split personalities. Should not give her my address. Look at Zua and see her lying on the counter. She's playing with something in the palm of her hand. It's like a small metal pin. Anyway, how could she be so lazy on the second uh, second day? I love CRTs was a lie too, wasn't it? <laughs> I frowned. Did you get a death notice? <laughs> a what? Just wondered. <laughs> Just wondering if I got a death notice? How could she say that with a straight face? The hell is a death note anyway? Does this even exist? Is that, <laughs> is that a thing from the death note thing? Am I gonna die of a heart attack in a second? Oh, what I meant to ask if you got some unpleasant news. You could say that. This girl's hard to get a handle on. Really shouldn't let my guard down around her. There's this woman who's obsessed with finding an IBM 5100. So it leaps up as soon as I speak. Ah. IBM 5100? You know about. Oh, uh, you know about them? Yeah. I see, so the IBM 5100 legend is famous, huh? Maybe that retro PC is more popular with female otaku than I thought. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I heard of the ur urban legend for someone. How much do you know about it? I tried looking for an IBM 5100, but in the end, I came to the conclusion that there isn't one in Akiba. I see. Well, that's true. You sound like you know something. Eh, well, I do and I don't, I guess. I don't know about it personally, but I happen to hear about it from a knowledgeable acquaintance of mine or something like that. Ah! <laughs> Another insincere smile. So I think she's not a very good liar. <laughs> Until she's lying whenever she smiles like that. Sure enough, she doesn't offer any other information. She just keeps her insincere smile plastered on her face. <laughs> now go away! <laughs> Who are you? Ha! Sua falls back on the counter with a deep sigh. So cut by me from that position. I was thinking of giving you a buff a bunch of interesting information on the IBM 5100. When you look at me like that, I don't feel like it anymore. I'm not even interested in it. I'm not even interested. Uh, I'm not even interested in the IBM 5100. I'm more concerned with the CERN right now. Solving one of Akiba's mysteries won't topple the organization's regime after all. You don't have a shred of credibility. I have no way of knowing if that interesting information of yours is true or not. Wow, that's harsh. Well, I mean, I ain't gotta act suspicious. <laughs> I 
I will tell you, but I'll give you a hint. The thing you ride than agony when you can't figure it out. Truth is, the Admin 5100 has a hidden function. A hidden function? It reminds me, I'm pretty sure the Don Titter from 2000 said the same, something like that. I searched through my memories. If I remember correctly, the, remember correctly, the IBM 5100 could do something or other, other with a proprietary programming language. No way, how'd you do? Tell me, tell me. Only vaguely remembered, but it looks like I hit the mark. I grin. It's another one of my powers. Leading question, I can read your heart of hearts. <laughs> what? No fair, that's horse shit. I need some superpowers. I want some mermaid swamp powers. <laughs> That's, that's right, because Nico's using this for his days. I'm getting at some point to do a mermaid swamp joke. <laughs> mermaid swamp! For some reason, Sua covers her face with both hands. She opens her fingers just enough to peek at me. It's not enough to escape my power. Mooha! I see everything I'm on, Ace Sua. Resistance is futile. Ah! Anyway, the IBM 5100 has a hidden function. I can, it can decipher IBM's proprietary programming language, which is written at for APL and BASIC became widespread. Is that surprising? Now I remember. John Titter said the same thing in 2000, right after that. An IBM Edge engineer officially admitted to that, to that function's existence. That's the programming language that told me to suffer with an IBM 5100. Really? You think they'd implement newer PCs that will at least let you be able to do that? The reason Titter traveled to 1965 to obtain an IBM 5100 was because he needed that function. Maybe Wanko wants to use it too. Or maybe not. Shiny Beer doesn't seem to like the type. Like the type who know of that, that sort of function. That's why I be in. Uh, That's why I be in 5100s is so rare. Talking to Suzuki keeps dropping her glance to the middle pin in her hand. She rolls around with her finger. I guess it's a habit of hers. So, I be in 5100s are super rare. If I get one, I can sell it for a high price. That'd be a good way to raise research funds. First, I have to deal with CERN. Oh, more John Titter stuff. Uh, life in 2036 is very different from what it is today. Most people live in farms, growing their own food. It's like the Interstellar movie. <laughs> and there's dust everywhere. And Matthew McConaughey is there too. A forms of commerce and communications are restricted. There's no travel, no internet, no railroad even. Most people never see another town, let alone a city. Science continues to advance, of course, but the mass vast majority of people do not benefit from that progress. Technology belongs only to those chosen by CERN and the Committee of 300. It's very peaceful, at least on the surface. There's none of the conflict you see in this era. So war, how's that possible? How did CERN resolve the situation in the Middle East? What do you got against world peace? Sounds like CERN's doing committee a favor. Senator guy stole time machine for CERN, didn't he? He's the bad guy here. Die to fire, terrorist scum! It's like everybody. <laughs> okay, now people are starting to believe what he's saying. The world of 2036 is governed by CERN. All nations, even America, has, have disbanded their armies. But simply, civilization has turned returned into an 18th century level of technology and exists under a communist system of government. Except now, that system works flawlessly. Right now, you, you should be asking yourself, how is that possible? How does a system of government that collapsed in the 20th century exists without any discontent? The answer to that question is that is the reason I am here. Yes, I am a terrorist. There is like new fight against CERN. We think of ourselves as the resistance, but there is no denying that our actions are our kind of terrorism. Anyway, I want to hear more about the many worlds interpretation. Said it's proven by 2036. How? I knew you were a terrorist. How many of you murdered? What if my kids are among them? Maybe I should, leave. I should really I should kill your father to protect the future. <laughs> For CERN! Stop being around the bush. Give us answers. Show us a picture of your time machine. Show a video of you going into, into the future. You're one of those old men who participated in the student riots, aren't you? Filled your head with a bunch of bullshit, now you can't tell the fact from fiction. Am I right? Hey, I'm not an old man bringing it here either. Very hoodle -mildly. Delicious nationalist tears. <laughs> Saren probably figured it out. They've got time machine experiment booth, right? That would make you no better than Titter. You're willing to face consequences, then go right ahead. Titter, question. Did World War III take a place to schedule? Why did you come to this particular time? Did you find an IBM 5100? Is John, is John Titter playing for the commies? I thought they went out of, of style like years ago. <laughs> that dude was crazy, but this Hillman guy is even crazier. Get a room, guys. <laughs> Lol. Yes, I, of course I'm crazy. <laughs> World War III laughing about as well. This is be like an IBM 5100 in Akiba. <laughs> Sorry to explain. My goal in this time is to change the future. I'm posting here to warn you of what's going to happen. Perhaps convergence will render my efforts meaningless. But even if one person pays attention, that's enough. World War Three is this something I. Is this something I. I sit on a different world line. Oh, uh, oh, oh no, he he's saying that still. Okay, is this thing I sit on a different world line. Oh, I would like to talk to you in private. Please email me when you have email me when you have time. Of course, if anyone else would like to email me, feel free. Serious quick inquiries only, please. All I've been getting is hate mail. Here's my address once more. Ah, oh, interesting. So he's reaching out to me now because I brought up the World War Three. Hmm. 
And that is true. And the original John Titter mentioned in World War III. Thank God. Fortunately, that didn't happen. Thank you, God. 20 hours have passed since Daru had start hacking. That gives way to a refreshing rear summer morning. I glance at Daru while browsing at channel on my phone. He's switching even more. Now his legs are like pistons. These are moving up and down in harmony with a rad tat of his computer. Daru hasn't slept in 40 hours, but he still won't get off his computer. I was going to ask him if he'd like a break, but his entire body's exuding an aura that says, Don't talk to me. I curl up a bit and return to my phone. My discussion with John Titter just aren't making sense. Not even Titter himself seems to know about the Titter from 10 years ago. It's hard to imagine that everyone on that ch channel is conspiring against me, but how else can I explain it? I don't know, man, maybe... God dang, I can't believe it's taking him so long to fucking figure this shit out. If he's already figured out that the messages are going back in time, why is he figuring out the message that he sent in the, in the past is fucking messed up the future? Out of options, I decided to email Titter directly, just as he told me. He initially has exposed his own address on that channel. I guess that's his way of saying, bring it on, old man. Yeah, that is a. I was just like, that's like, that's a bad idea. <laughs> okay, let's go. In my email, I question the differences between his post now and his post ten years ago. Current Titter hasn't even acknowledged the latter. I only vaguely remember them, but they basically went like this. In 2015, World War III breaks out. Many people die. In 2036, the the world was a nuclear wasteland, contaminated from nuclear warfare. You travel from 2036 to 1975 to attain IBM 15. 5100. The IBM 5100 was necessary to revive technology lost in World War III. The IBM 5100 has a hidden function, the ability to read IBM's proprietary computer language which predates APL and BASIC. But only certain IBM engineers are aware of that function, so it does not appear in the manual. 1998, Titter meets his younger self and his parents in America. Hey, what's up, dude? I'm, I'm you from the future! <laughs> ah! <laughs> what would you do, guys? What would you do if you from the future just came right again and was like, <laughs> I'm you from the future, dude! I came to warn you that all of a sudden he fucking explodes. What would you do? I'd be like, I'd be like oh my god, what? What is it? <laughs> Damn, I gotta clean up the gi giblets of myself on the wall. Fuck. <laughs> oh well, I won't make the same mistake he did. I'll come in three seconds earlier! John Titter was a soldier who volunteered for this mission. John Titter is American. Furthermore, in 2000, Titter correctly predicted the outcomes of some future events. The Peruvian Coast earthquake in 2001, the election of a new pope, the outbreak of the Iraq War, China's advances in space, and so forth. Though we only talked vaguely about each one, they all came true. I feel like the, the things though he said were very vague, very, very vague. Like it could apply to so many things, and there were a lot of things that didn't happen. On the other hand, other breaks went unfulfilled. For example, the Y2K bug, civil war in America, the cancellation of the Beijing Olympics, the inauguration of America's first female president in 2009, and so forth. <laughs> well, that actually might happen here in uh, this next election if Hillary Clinton wins. Yeah, the Y2K bug. Yeah, that was a that ended up just being nothing. <laughs> it's like, planes would come out of the sky. It's like, no, or life will just go on and computers will just be like, whatever. It's a new set. It's a new fucking millennium. Get over it. There's more, but let's leave those Let's leave those aside for now. I'm going to ask him why those predictions didn't come true. Yeah, most of them. Okay, if you're from the future, why didn't your predictions come true? I appreciate, I appreciate some feedback. Suck my balls. Sorry for the sudden mail. It is I. Sending. All right, let's send it now. Ding dong. Can't answer to my satisfaction. The current John Titter is imposter. This is your litmus test, John T Titter. Ha ha ha. So what are your true colors? Doo Good morning. Nah. Oh, here it comes in. Yay. Looks like she's forgiven us for experimenting on our food. She's back to her usual smiley self. What are you doing here so early? Well, I heard you guys had stayed up two nights in a row, so I brought, brought you some goodies. Excellent, good job. But to be accurate, it wasn't two nights in a row. I took an afternoon nap yesterday. Mary starts fisting through her, her convenience store bag. Then she takes out. Ta da! Canned Odin! Canned Odin? What's that? What's that, Mary? A canned meal sold in vending machines. Each contains a hot broth with various Odin ingredients such as boiled egg, radish, konjac, beef, and tofu. A popular Akia bar specialty. Hmm. I don't know. Would that be good? I guess if it didn't go bad. I feel like if you have an egg in there, 
Why would that not go bad? <laughs> you know, I feel like that would get it'll go bad pretty fast. I mean, I guess you, you, you vacuum sealed it, but the candle is so warm when she gives it to me. Mm. Open the lid right away and eat the beef. <laughs> Yuri and I have been together for a long time, so she knows what I like. When it comes to Kando, then beef is where it's at. Oh, yeah. It's a present for Miyushi. They're, they're 270 yen a piece each, so savor it, okay? I've been getting tired of eating bananas and chicken lately, but these, buy these instead from now on. But Miyushi doesn't have enough pocket money to spurs like this all the time. And Miyushi loves bananas and chicken, so she'll keep buying them. <laughs> she does. She really loves bananas, doesn't she? It's like her favorite thing ever. <laughs> So you're saying you'll get fat if you keep eat frozen food, so that's not very effective, effective against Fury, so I hold my tongue. Her high metabolism prints her for getting fat, no matter how much she eats. Bananas are good for you! I mean, she got chicken, but chicken's not... I mean, I guess it's like fried chicken. I guess, yeah. But bananas are good for you. Oh wait, there's more! Ta-da! <gasps> oh my god, it's my favorite port. No, wait, no, it's, it's just a stupid Uba thing. Actually, there's a small box with a Rynet illustration. Rynet sausage! It comes with an Oopa bottle cap as a bonus! I really want it, so I bought it! Six hour tongue with a shy giggle. <laughs> Thing tells me that in a few moments, this lab will be neck deep in Oopa goods. <laughs> there are only a few things right now, like the cushion on the sofa, but. Oh, is that what the cushion on the sofa is? This is an Oopa? Oh, okay. The number is sure to grow exponentially. How's Dora Kun? He's in the midst of a hard fight. He should at least rest a little. I mean, he never said he said he had to do it all at once. Darkun's super hacker spear is on fire! <laughs> Don't say hacker. Oh, fuck. Uh, an empty Diet Cola bottle comes whistling through the air. Hits my, hits my head with a thunk. <laughs> I like her expression when she's like, like, yikes! <laughs> he like lights her lip like, uh oh. He sure is tense. Mary and I evacuate to the corner of the lounge and quietly eat the Odin. But is it hacking bad? Why she doesn't want you to do bad things? I wouldn't be a, I would be a fool to let Daro's super hacker, I mean hacker skills, go to waste. Certainly looks like hackers hijacked CERN's system back in 2008. We found news articles about it online. That means even the inventors of the World Wide Web have holes in their security. Well, skills Daro should have with his skills Daro should have no trouble getting through. Besides, we're doing this to expose CERN's wrongdoings. It's a war against an arc force that's equally world the world. Rule the world. <laughs> bad things are bad! <laughs> mm, that's unusual. I usually just accepts whatever I say. I'll admit it, we are doing a bad thing. There's no way we can stop now. But what? Oh. I thought it was sure it was gonna be Shining Finger. Uh was it the person I Oh. Hey, this is Monitsua! First first email! Thanks for exchanging addresses with me yesterday. I finally made made a friend here. Yay! <laughs> Don't worry, I won't eat it too much. And I might my be slow to reply, I'm kinda new with this email thing. It's okay to laugh at me! <laughs> Where were you living before? I need to change the subject. Where are you want to trade my sweet potatoes for your beef? Eh? If you want to trade, I'd rather you have your quail egg. Don't be ridiculous. Next to beef, quail eggs are my favorite. Huh. Me, she likes quail eggs too. Settle for my ch chikua. Ch ch chikua? Chikua. What's that? Does anyone know what chikua is? Mm, okay. Chikua's better than sweet potatoes. With that said, I skew with the shoe Chikua! Oh, oops. <laughs> with that said, I skewer the Chikua and put it in Miyuri's, Miyuri's can. And I'll get her, get her beef in return. So I changed complete. Miyuri eats up for conversations about food, and it's so easy to make play her. Mwah! Soon, if I can get just get the SQL table, I'll have more than enough passwords. Nah, you're no match for me. Daryl's starting to talk to himself. Looks like things are falling into place. Daryl really is a super hacker. I think it's the first time I've seen him serious. Dora bends himself forward, staring holes in the screen. But all I see on the screen is the same string of numbers and letters. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. You can't hide from me, you naughty thing. You, <laughs> how does it feel to be naked? Nyah, 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 nyah. <laughs> His eyes are bloodshot and he's starting to ramble. Mm. <laughs> Made like a sleepy skin dim. He's got a massive boner. Dora opens a new window, types in a 12th character string, and slams the enter key. An air sound rings. Quickly deletes the string enters in a new one. Keeps repeating the sequence until finally. Oh, oh yes, yes! Matching ID and password, long and complete. Hell yeah, taste it, yes, yes, yes! What enthusiasm. Did you get it? Smug Master turns around with an expression of immense satisfaction. So if he's gonna 
He's gone into La... La Batimort. Mission complete. Really? Wow, that's amazing. I don't really get it, though. After 20 hours of agony, it's finally over. Showed Aro my appreciation, I tossed him an unopened Odin can. An Odin can's the, the best after a job well done. Well done, you really are the world's greatest super hacker. Hacker. Hacker, I'm gl glad you're on my side. Did you find out how they're planning to destroy the world? I haven't looked yet, man. All I do is get us connected. It's all downhill from here. I'm sorry, retire, but please start checking. The keys to this conspiracy have to go have to be in here. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, but let me eat the soda can first. A short meal break. Dart has it. Taps on his keyboard more nibbling than before. The question is who this password belongs to. Why is that? I went into CERN's database and got a data table. From there, I focused on people with simple passwords like 11111 and ABCDEFG to get my hands on an ID. It'd be awesome if this turns out to be the server I've been so long in, but I don't think we're that lucky. In Japanese, please? <laughs> Save. <laughs> Basically, if the server admin. If this is a server abs and password, you can taste every inch of CERN's luscious, luscious flesh. But it was just an ordinary research password that we can only see CER CERN's boobs. <laughs> Daru kun that's naughty! <laughs> Quit the erotic examples. Basically, you mean there'll be limits to what we can access. Exactly. Anyway. Anyway, it's only a matter of time before I get a server admin's password. Let's save that for later. I'm really sleepy now. Be cruel to Dar push Daru any further. It's unfortunate, but overworking him isn't an option. Let him rest so he can regain his energy. Oh, looks like our ID belongs to an, an accelerator division chief. It's not a server admin. It would take a miracle to get one on our first try. How many staff members do you think CERN has? How many? Over 6,000. That many? Damn. Well, for now, let's look at this accelerator division chief. Uh, his name is Jack. Let's look at his email log. Of course, the emails come up in English. Damn, I can't read that. <laughs> oh no, that makes Miyushi's head hurt. It's pathetic to flinch at the mayor's side of English. <laughs> Hell, we're speaking it right now. <laughs> Dar, what does that say? I need to translate. This is a job for Dr. X side. Dr. X side. Oh, a machine translation site. Okay. Excite Sensei. No, no, I've got a better idea. Oh, was that me that said that? Our boots up a translation software and I'll translate the open page. Poor unnatural Japanese shows up. <laughs> First line says, Happy New Year! <laughs> Looks like a New Year's greeting. Something about going on vacation in Spain. Lucky bastard. That email's normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. Leave scouring the log like this. We can also identify the server manager. You know, looking through someone else's email without permission makes me feel really guilty. Miura gets depressed and moves away through the computer. <laughs> He's on the sofa and hugs her giant oopa cushion with a sigh. I know we're doing something socially unacceptable, however. I abandoned guilt when I chose the path of you long ago. Mwahaha! <laughs> Let the responsibility be mine. I will not ask you to answer for my crimes. <laughs> what a guy. I let Ocarine do me in the butt. <laughs> Okay, somebody's be someone has needs to get some sleep, I think. I'll decline your offer. <laughs> now get peeing, Daru. Okarine, you're bad. You make me wish she's sad. Oh no, oh no. That makes me sad, no. <laughs> That's of no concern to me, because I am evil. You just sit there and pretend your hands are clean. <laughs> On further examination, we discover se several emails from the title experiment report. In English, naturally. Looks like he sends emails like this, these almost daily. Now let's see experiment reports. There could be a hint about time machines in there. We should just try reading them. This is definitely a crime, though. That's what his lips say, but his hands click on the click on the email. Comes up with an unintelligible series of symbols. This is encrypted. Of course, it isn't that simple. Well, cracking this should be a piece of cake. Nice super hacker. He's a genius, no doubt. Daru undoes the security in less than 10 minutes. The real time sink is deciphering the crappy machine translation. Um, translate translate into proper Japanese, it's Hi Paul. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 
that's that, that acting's completely unnecessary. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Upload today's data to the server. The LHC is performing admirably. Can't say the same about the rest, though. This baby's fickle as a cat, but it was surprisingly obedient this month. It would be great if it stayed like this forever. Wow, that is some serious... Damn, Google Translate, you did a pretty good job of <laughs> this one time. Usually your translations sound like ass. <laughs> but don't you think this work is unrewarding? This kitten, this 27 kilometer long kitten, <laughs> has been in operation for nine years. <laughs> that was kind of crazy sounding. Our research will change the, the, the course of history, yet only a small group of people are allowed to see it. Of course, it, if it were ever officially released, it would be one hell of a scandal. People would probably say something like, Call Robert Zemeckif, Z Zemeckif to CERN right away. He could build it in less than a year. Nine years. Darfus is re reading. I rub my temples with my thumbs. Calm down. Sort things out. I don't know what he's talking about. Do you think there were any translation errors in that email? Did Dar know something unnatural too? He's not joking like he usually does. If you trust the translation software, then that's what it says. Japanese is strange in places, though. But that doesn't make sense. I thought the LHC was only put into operation around spring last year. This email makes it sound like it's been in operation for nine years. That is strange. The email send date is this year, 2010. So nine years ago makes it 20,001. John Titter posted this on At Channel yesterday. The only thing I can say is that you must not believe their lies. They have already succeeded in creating macro, micro black holes. I gulp. Read between the lines of this email. It sounds like they've been doing some sort of secret experiment. Also, Robert Zem Zemeckis is a super ho famous Hollywood movie director. He directed a trilogy of smash hit time travel movies about 20 years ago. Oh, uh, is that the director of uh, Back to the Future movies? Did it actually add that? Did it add Robert Zemeckis to my? No, it didn't. Not, and I was. That's probably not his real name either. But I groan. No way. I was I right? So he's hiding a major secret from the world? No way! <laughs> and it's related to time travel? Keep looking, Dar. Search for anything related to time machine research. Seriously? I don't know if Dar was questioning my order or the possibility that Sir might be researching time travel. Either way, it begins tapping on the computer again. Mm, there aren't any emails with the phrase time machine in them. But the phrase Z program was used hundreds of times in the past few months. Do you think it could be about the current LHC experiments? What is it specifically? Black hole formation experiments? Hmm. Let's try looking for a document. Ah, found one. Dar opens a PDF attachment. Oh, look like looks like this is the top secret stuff from France, England, and Holland. Government secrets? So it's not even a government organization, so why? Wait, should we be looking at this stuff? You might be in a little deep here. I don't care, give me details. <laughs> Fuck privacy. Hold on, if we get caught, we're not getting going off with an apology. Are you so incompetent as to let yourself be traced? I took the necessary precautions. And I fail to see the problems. Well, thanks. <laughs> Dar makes a slightly awkward face. He takes a file about Z program and feeds it to the trans translation uh, software. Hmm. May 14th, 137, 137th Z program experiment report. Human is error. Human is dead. Mismatch. What? Because we... Because we have already succeeded in creating a mini black holes, the report is omitted first. Stop! Stop! All of a sudden, Tinder's prediction had became a reality. CERN did use a LHC to create generate mini black holes. They announced that their experiments still haven't succeeded, so why? What Tinder was referring to when he posted, don't believe what they say. The goal of the experiment wasn't even to generate mini black holes, it was to create new elementary particle reactions. Darrow doesn't take his eyes, wide eyes off the monitor. In reality, they're already generating this many black holes. Sure does seem like. Oh, sure, sure does seem like it. What does it say next? Um. Results error. Human is dead. Mismatch. For details, consult Jelly Man's report number fourteen. Propose a propose a further experiments to be halted until the lifter is perfected and all local field confirmatory points are online. What does that mean? Human human is dead means someone died, right? What? Someone died. Seriously? I groan. This isn't even a joke anymore. Something very serious is going on here. Maybe we are in too deep. Huh, and what if we are? I'm not afraid. I'm not. After all, I am the insane mad scientist, Hiroin Kuyoma. 
You can't stop now. I can't control my curiosity besides and I approve of their evil deeds. Ignoring it would have been bad taste in my mouth. My throat's gone dry. I saw my saliva. In addition to what... Uh, what, what to keep whatever composure I can. I scold myself for being so faint of heart. Okay, well, I think this is probably a good place to end. <laughs> At least as good as any. It's like, it, I don't know. So at some point, you just gotta say, alright, I gotta stop for now. But, um, very interesting. I will say that the story is fairly slow moving. Um, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing. I think it's really building up. But I hope it's not boring you guys too much. Um, you know, I, I, I'm a little nervous about them. I'm afraid you guys are gonna start getting really bored from this. Uh, that's, oh, that's always sort of my been my fear of you know doing a visual not like do all these visual novels as a playthrough so um let me know if you guys are getting bored to death or something and if you are enjoying this uh this series please make sure to leave a like it really does help me out and it really lets me know you guys are enjoying this um this is probably gonna be the last video that i uh i post before coming back from my vacation and if it's all everything's timed correctly i'll probably post this at approximately third on approximately thursday at 9 p.m. U.S. Eastern Time. Yes, all according to my evil plan. Uh, <laughs> so the next video will probably be when I come back, and that'll probably be on Saturday. If you guys didn't notice, I, I said it pretty much, but I set a video for every other day, um, and not as many as usual because you know usually I post like every day or try to at least. Um, and when I come back, I'll the uh, new Lisa game will probably be released. So I'll probably re release uh, maybe the first video of that or something. So. But um, anyway, uh, like for if you enjoyed and subscribe now. Become a picky penguin aboard the SLP. The days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And until next time, guys, stay classy.